Hello and welcome to MBK Models. Um, <clears throat> today I've been doing a lot of electronics. Um, the, 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 the issue with a 24 inch span balsa kit is that your, uh, your power to weight ratio, you're fighting against um, <clears throat> weight all the time. So I've tried several batteries. You can see uh, a couple of S1s up in the uh, right hand corner of the screen. <clears throat> and I've managed to get these very small batteries from Amazon, which are, they weigh in at nine grams each, which is good. To the left of the screen is the S1 battery charger. Um, S1 batteries are a sort of uh, lawn to themselves, and you've got to charge them on this type of USB charger, or you can buy other ones, but this is the one I've bought. Now, um, what I've done is connected them in series because they're 3.7 volts. You can see it there. All right, they're 3.7 volts, 320 milli hour, amp hours, and 1.2 watt hours. All right, that, that should, they would last about 12 minutes. So connected in series, you get twice the power, but the same length of um, battery life. So um, what you get is, uh, if you were connecting in parallel, you'd get the 3.7 volts, but they'd last twice as long. So what have you got? One point, you'd last about 24 minutes. So you've got 12 minutes there, which is enough. Um, and what I've done is whip the connectors off and put my own on. So we've got uh, bullet connectors there. Another uh, Amazon purchase, all right, with heat shrink on. Now, when, if you do this, okay, if you do this with LiPo batteries, all right, um, I made a, you know, we all make mistakes. I, uh, first LiPo battery I ever had, I whipped both connectors off and accidentally arced it together, the two wires. This produces hydrogen gas in the battery and it swells up. You don't want that. So, when you change the connectors on them, all right, um, do one, take a uh, snip one, connect a uh, wire off, a, a lead off at a time, all right, solder your connector on, put your heat shrink on, or put your heat shrink on before you solder it, and then put it on, all right, and then do the next one. Do not cut both wires at the same time, because if they arc, you will break the battery. Like now, this 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 one here, it's um, this is your uh, S1 charger. It can either go on uh, 0.2 amps or 6 amp charge. Whether you want a trickle charge, or you want a uh, fast charge. All right. I personally, I put them on a trickle charge. It's a more even, better charge. All right. Now, when you with lipos, once you get an S two, you get into balanced chargers, and um, where they, it, you get a balanced charge going, it's a it's a different ball game. You can see these S ones; they're they're great, yeah, they're absolutely great, but they're too heavy. Um, like I said, you're you're fighting against weight all the time. All right, so I found these, and I weighed they weighed in when it came in at nine grams each, which is good. All right. So um, that's two S1 LiPos connected in series. Now you can't charge them in series. This is why I've got bullet connectors on. They can be taken apart. And shortly I'm going to, um, I've got some um, little two pin connectors, which are going there with the wires already on soldered. And I'm gonna make up some charging leads for them so I, I can charge them separately. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and until next time.